So I thought it might be interesting just to um, show people some of the stuff that I have lying around to do a destruction. Like, um, lots of bits of paper with notes. Like, instead of, oh gosh, this is sick, she's a baby, we've got, oh my god, that's sick, she's just a baby. Obviously. We're cutting out a scene where Dougie slits a baby's throat because I decided I didn't want to have anyone kill their kids. But here is the original scene which will never be made because it will be in the sequel of when Zachary and Megan, right? And it's so awful. Right? It's like, okay, I'm not even going to read some of this. But Zachary says to Megan, I'll kick your ass with my pinky. And Megan says, and I'll break your finger. Megan grabs Zach's hand and twists it. He pushes her to the ground and kisses her. Megan, laying on the ground, says you should not have done that. Megan jumps up and throws herself on Jack and Zach, sorry, knocking him on the ground. They kiss more, they run into a doorway, and you're never going to see more than that. And I think that's actually just, like, it's too much. So, it got caught. There was this deal, like, um, trying to go for it as controversial as is possible. And, um... That was controversial, but probably too much so. It was it was a difficult a difficult part to uh, make a full decision on, and say, well, no, we're don't we're not gonna do something like this. See, here's the original scene with Molly. A small girl is at the school gates. She clings to her father's leg. Daddy, please don't make me go. I wish I didn't have to, but the law says you must. I won't let the stupid kids my age. They're all babies. I know, sweetie, but just like your mummy, you'll make friends with the older kids. That's crap. That was going to be the end. I know. Now the ending is Megan framing her dad for being like some sort of pervert to try and get a lesser jail sentence. As you do. And I've got this book. Obviously, I can't spell. Um... And in this book, there's so much stuff. Like, here's songs that I used to... I I used to listen to. Spaceman by Babylon Zoo in the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Megan. Lucky Man by The Verb and Side by Stiltskin. West Side by Athlete, which still always sounds wrong to me. And then, like, lists of characters. And why it says Molly Flaxton, I don't know, because she would have... Zach's surname, and at that point we've got Prescott, but it's Baker. Oh, we've got costuming, oh my goodness. Wow, my ideas for costuming, my ideas for weapons, my idea for props, meanings of the film, and then like, like pictures of um, different actors at the time. And look, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, was originally considered to play Dougie t many, many years ago. Isn't that amazing? Because I still, I still want him. I want him to play grown-up Dougie. I have him listed as being in Halloween H two O. Is he? Is he? I'm not sure. Uh, who else is in here? Is still like someone that I would still to this day consider. Oh, Rory, really? Oh, I don't remember that. Nico Hughes is far too young. Too old, rather. Nothing. Oh, here's here's some notes from um, 100 Greatest Scary Movies. Sex equals death. Kill the star. Victims have nothing to give but blood. Use a child. Invite the killer in. Take your time to kill. Kill. Invent. Oh, inventively, I can't spell. Go dock you. Isolate your victim. Curiosity kills. Sex equals death again. I don't know why. And then I've got more 
notes. These are all old, old notes from like when it was very first being written. Uh, oh my, okay. Not that, maybe not that. And that's that's the story about Megan. Okay, like, um... Ideas, Zach's memory. In real life, the world, ending black velvet suits, black choppies, open, sprinkle car. I don't know, even know what half of this is. Something about wigs. Long black matty tear with blood through it. Well, here's more stuff about music. And, like, what scene it would go with. Oh, dear. References. Monitor lizards eat their owner. The movie last house on the left. Naming the baby Mallory. Oh, go Jay, at one point we were going to call Molly Mallory and have her be named after Mallory Knox. <sighs> oh, wow. Megan is a highly intelligent little girl of 10. She does little to no work at school, making her teachers and mum think she's unintelligent. At home, behind her mother's back, she reads and understands books by philosophers and other greats. She is also pri privy to a secret. Her dad is a serial killer. As she gets older, she discovers killing can be fun. Cannibalism more so. She meets and gets pregnant by Zachary. When pregnant, she appears to go mad, eventually killing her father. After jumping off the roof, she ends up in a mental hospital. And then, Oh, that's a quote. Let's play Slice and Dice. Oh, here's, here's a thing about... Okay. As a small child, he suffered extreme abuse at the hands of his father. By the time he was 16, he killed his father and framed his brother. He married Anna, well, her name's Sarah now, and had Megan. However, he never stopped killing. Eventually tells his daughter the truth and lets her watch, eventually join in too. He is eventually killed by Megan. He is the sole heir to Flaxton Industries. Oh my god, I love Flaxton Industries. This is a ludicrous company I made up. Flaxton Industries. This is Dougie's parents' company that he inherits. It's a fictional version of GML. And they've got film features ads for products. No, no, we're not doing fake GML ads. If you know what GML is, you'll know that someone somewhere is making a lot of money out of that and is quite possibly the devil. Blah, 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 flashbacks, degrading abuse and torture, tour, blah, 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 possible blah, blah, original murders at age 16. Dougie can't bring himself to punish Megan the way he was, so she is torturing others to prevent himself hurting her. The flashbacks show how he was treated and indicate his struggle to treat Megan differently. Music for flashbacks. Could be either Saddest Girl Story or In the Air Tonight, even Smoking Pope's Megan. What is up with me? The stupid soundtrack. Some of it's dire, but then some of this stuff was, was written as long as 10 years ago, so, you know, it's evolved a lot over the years. Anyway, thank you for watching. I know you don't care, so thank you.